All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 16 free update content. And today we're going to be going over the brand new Super Soul that we just got from the Cell Max raid. Damn, I'm going to have to go all out. We also received the Cell Max outfit. Unfortunately, I didn't get the correct amount of points to get the entire outfit. I am missing one piece. I believe it's the torso piece, but that's totally fine because we got artwork illustration of 419 <laughs> without further ado please make sure to drop a like on today's video i'll greatly appreciate it and let's hop straight into it real quick i just want to see how the cell max outfit looks like oh my gosh that is cursed wait hold on we have to <laughs> equip every single piece <laughs> i've said this before but we could play as a bootleg version of cell max you know put the outfit on a Namek CC and then transform into giant. But yeah, <laughs> I'm missing the top part of it. Oh, we do have another raid. I believe that's going on right now. If you get 50,000 points during that raid, I believe you fight against Android 13. Uh, you unlock the Cell Max set, which is the uh, head accessory, right? So go ahead and participate in that if you really want the entire Cell Max suit. But for now, let's go over the brand new Super Soul right here. A bit of time after the battle starts, it boosts all attacks by XXL, which is actually insane. I think that's a 30% increase. So it's basically like transforming again because Super Saiyan Blue gives you a 30% increase. Uh, Beast gives you a 30% increase in all attacks. And I believe Blue Evolved is the only transformation that gives you 35% increase. So this is a pretty good Super Soul when it comes to damage. Uh, it also boosts movement speed by XXL. You know, great for the Frieza CECs because I believe their speed is already immense. And always increases damage taken from all attacks by a medium size amount, which is 10%. So, don't get me wrong, this Super Soul is still pretty good. But, let's say you have Beast plus this Super Soul, right? So if you transform, you're already taking an additional 20% because of the Beast Awoken. If you didn't know, uh, you get an additional 20% in damage. <laughs> With this Super Soul, it'll be plus 10. So a total of 30% damage you'll be taking extra. Like, what is that? And not to mention, not to mention, if the opponent you're fighting has, let's say, for example, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, which already deals... An output of 35% damage with this Super Soul, which will make it 65% damage. And then he's attacking you, damaging you with your Beast Awoken and the 10% damage increase. That's 30% once again. So he's dealing 65% damage while you're receiving an additional 30% damage. What? That's like 95% damage extra. Hey man, hey man. I mean, it's still a decent Super Soul, like I said. Not probably not the best one out there, but I think it's all right. It, it, it definitely buffs all the transformations out there. That's why this is a pretty decent Super Soul within the free update, if you ask me. So let's just go ahead, take this into battle, and see what we can do. Now, the downside to this Super Soul is, well, it's not technically a downside, but it does take about a minute to activate, which I guess could be a plus because you won't be taking an additional 10% damage within the first minute, right? <laughs> and to be fair, most battles, if not most, at least a lot of them, after a minute has passed, most likely the battle will be close to being over. So I feel like the additional 10% damage that you receive isn't that bad just for the last minute of the battle right i feel like it cancels each other out extremely well with the additional 30 percent output that you also get that's just what i think so let's go ahead and transform get that additional 30 percent damage let's go ahead and use the stronger version of the beast combo string which is the off square into triangle right here oh about 9,000. yep 9,800 damage and the super soul just activated see See, a minute. It, it wasn't even that long, right? And plus, I was actually waiting for the Super Soul to activate. Uh, of course, when you're in an actual battle, you won't be waiting at all because you'll be trying to survive out here, <laughs> right? Or at least fighting. Uh, so, yeah, 1,000 or 9,814 damage. Uh, let's go ahead and use it with the Super Soul. Same combo string, all squares into the Beast combo. Here it is. Oh, 12,000 damage, man. 
and I don't have a limit burst. I didn't use a special ability like the fighting post techniques. None of that. This is just the transformation and the super soul. Pretty dang deadly, right? Now, of course, since Beast makes you receive a 20% damage increase and the super soul also gives you a 10% damage increase, you'll be taking a total of 30% damage. So if the opponent fights back, right? Wait, how do we make the opponent fight back? Can we not? Uh, there it is. All right, here. <laughs> All right, I'm used to photo mode. This is a bit different than photo mode, right? So if the opponent actually fights back with his transformation, let's say again for uh, at the start of the video, I said blue evolved, right? Which is a 30% increase. And if he had the same exact super soul, which gives you an additional 30% increase, that's a total of 65%, right? 65%. And I'm taking an extra 30% damage right now. So look at my health. It's literally just melting. Two strike attacks and a super attack right there. Oh, oh, oh. Unfortunately, we can't really see the damage, but that's one simple combo string and it melted 75% of one health bar. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. One combo string and a super attack. About a bar and a half. And he's not even transformed or using a super soul that increases his attacks. Uh, I feel like this Super Soul would work best on a Super Saiyan Blue Evolved build because that way you'll only be taking 10% damage from the Super Soul alone. Not the additional 20% that the Beast gives you, right? Know what I'm talking about? So, again, as I said at the start of the video, they're technically outputting 95% damage. Not really 65%, but again, you're taking 30% uh, damage. <laughs> Look at that! Even without the beast transformation? So right now it's just a super soul with the 10% damage increase. I'm still taking mad damage. Like what the heck? <laughs> nah, no, that isn't fair. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. It is, it is. It is a good super soul. Uh, but again, probably better for blue or blue evolved. Oh, so comment down below. Uh, what do you think this super soul works best with? You know, transformation-wise. As for my character, I do have a pretty decent amount of attribute points set to my strike attacks. And I do have a plus 5 super soul set to my strike as well. So I'm already doing like about the max damage combo-wise. Let's just go ahead and use the combo string again. Oh, oh. But yeah, pretty decent amount of damage for my character at least. I do want to max everything, uh, plus also equip some fighting pose techniques just to increase the strength. That would be pretty crazy. But let me know what you guys think again. This is it for me. Just really wanted to showcase the new Super Soul. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.